Okay, we're, we're talking with Steve Andrews. Steve, go ahead and introduce yourself and talk about your relevant background with open source ecology. All right, um, yeah, my name is Steve Andrews. I, uh, I live in uh, British Columbia, beautiful British Columbia. Um, I um, am interested just in the video side of things and sort of the journalism aspect. I studied broadcast journalism at the uh, University of Southern California. And uh, since then, have just been mostly freelancing, um, doing a doing a wide range of uh, video and photography and writing projects, um, just on uh, basically sort of corporate profiles. And um, in the past couple of years, has really been focused on the web and, and websites and um, and just uh, viral video and stuff like that. Uh, found out about op open source ecology on uh, on Larson's uh, TED talk. And just uh, really intrigued by the concept, and I, I, I think it's, it's an amazing project, and um, just want to do whatever I can to sort of help out and get the word out. Okay, let me see. Um, do you have any work samples you can send us? Uh, yeah, I, I sent Marcin some stuff, but I can send some more as well, and send it uh, straight to your email. Wait, what did you send him? Let me see if I have it. Um, I saw I the Kaufman I the video on um, a nutrition speaker, and um, I'm not sure what else I'd send him. I'll have to check, but I, I can send, send a few more things. How do I find that Sorry, online? Um, if you look on YouTube, uh, it's called Adam's Story and the Power of Food. shoot this and edit it or what? Yeah, I did everything. So did you all write the, all the all the interviews, all the shooting, yeah, and then I put it together as well. Very common experience about America. I remember being in uh, my teenage years and I was uh, diagnosed with uh, attention deficit hyperactivity disorder and put on. Did you write any scripts for this? Um, for the interview, no, it was more just uh, like. We had sort of an outline, and then, um, and then, yeah, he would just. He, there was probably about 20 minutes of footage of, of the interview that I just sort of spliced up and sort of had the freedom to, to put together as, as just to, to make the message sort of cohesive with with what his message was. Basically. Okay, one second. Um. Do you have any other examples of your work? Um, I do. Um, I just have to get the the address. Um, but okay. yeah, it, it's kind of a pain because I'm just not online right now. It's uh, it's really frustrating actually. But I can I can definitely send some stuff later. Okay. Do you have a resume? Sorry, what was that? Do you have a resume too? Uh, yeah. Okay. We send that over. So you're interested in coming to Factory Farm? Yeah, totally. Um, sorry, in coming to the Factory Farm, did you say? I said, are you interested in coming to Factory Farm, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, definitely. It's, uh, I'd, I'd love to check it out and um, just see what's going on. It seems really intriguing, just, just what you guys are doing. And let's just sort of see it unfold for a second. Are you interested in volunteering at Factory Farm? Um, yeah, I, it, it would depend on um, what's going on. Um, I, uh, and just my work schedule and everything like that. But um, if travel costs could be arranged, then, then I'd, I'd definitely be interested in it. I, I, I couldn't really budget um, paying my way out there. Okay, one second. Um, okay, how long would you be available if you came to Factory Farm? 
Um, if it was volunteering, then probably about a week. But um, if you know, if there was a situation where there's the, in the budget to, to be paid for putting a video together, then um, probably up to a month, I'd say. Um, so when would you be available if you were paid? Um, within about a month. I just, uh, I'm just recovering from knee surgery right now. That's sort of the main hang up and I've got a few other projects I'm working on, but, um, sort of by the middle of June, I'd be, I'd be available. Or June 8th or so, something like that, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> and how did you find out about OSE? I'm just on the TED Talk. Okay. Um, and, I, and I just contacted Martin after that, just to, after checking out the website. Okay. One second. Do you have your own camera equipment? Yep. Um, but in the proposal that I outlined to, to Marcia and I um, thought that it would be best to get, um, to, to have, like just for the factory farm, to have a, a, their own set of cameras. Um, I, I saw your proposal um, and I, I think it would be good to have all that gear. Um, I don't see Martian doing that right right now though. I just don't. Oh, yeah. I don't see him him buying stuff like that at this time. I mean, it'd be awesome, but um, yeah. So, what do you? What kind of gear do you have? Uh, Canon DSLRs and then uh, zoom sound equipment. What Canon do you have? Uh, the 60D. So that's 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 below the T3, right? T3i. Um, no, it's 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 higher up. Than T3i. Okay. okay. It's got a few more features. I mean, all of the, all of those Canons, like the 7D, the 60D, and the T3i, like the image quality is all similar. It's it's more just the uh, functionality and the features of them that that differ. Um, the the big investment sort of in the lenses. What what other gear do you have? Uh, I've got some, like lighting equipment and. Um, Whatnot, but I and, and then just a, a lens kit. But I, yeah, I like to travel light because a, a lot of my my shooting is sort of in the field, just um, yeah, moving around. So I, I like to keep everything confined to to a backpack. So I do have some lighting equipment as well for for interviews and whatnot. Okay, one second. Um, okay, what do you personally care about? Um, just, uh, I, I guess equality and justice is a big thing for me. Like, I, uh, I, I sort of, you know, see what's happening in, in the world and, and the inequality, and it's just really frustrating, and I mean, I, I guess it's easier to see just from being blessed in a sort of a first world atmosphere, but I, um, yeah, sort of see how, you know, even even in the first world, that we just with what's happening with the banking system and everything, and how it's uh, just the greed that goes on, and, and, and how the government's, you know, more serving the, uh, the big business and the banks than, than the actual people, and and I I've always sort of been advocating for, yeah, making justice and, and making it so that everybody has that fair chance. And, You want to use journalism. You want to use journalism to bring that to light. Sorry? You said you want to bring journalism to. You want to br use journalism to bring that to light. Yeah, exactly. Just uh, sort of tell the stories that 
that aren't being told and people aren't seeing. And it's becoming a lot easier with the internet, so it's great. Okay. How does the work of OSC relate to what you care about? Um, yeah, I guess just leveling the playing field as far as um, making the necessary tools for um, for sustaining life um, accessible to, um, to people who otherwise couldn't couldn't afford it or have the necessary means to to make that happen, and that really excites me. I, I've always um, my goal eventually, yeah, is to be um, sort of self-sufficient off the land and live in a community that, that does so. And I think that, that the whole OSC um, idea makes that possible in, in ways that it couldn't before. Um, <clears throat> tell us about the last five years of your life. Okay, do you, um, let's see. So you, you have written scripts, right? Um, yeah, not, not like feature length films or, but yeah, I, I, I've done script writing for sure. Uh, give us some examples.
Hey, you're, I can't hear you. Hey, I couldn't hear the last part of that. Oh, really? Yeah. You... Sorry, let me let me just move another. I'm trying to move move around this. The cover isn't there. If you just gotta speak into the mic directly, that's that's what matters the most. Um. Yeah, I'm just moving around, but yeah, uh, corporate like presentation profiles. So, um. I'm just sorry. I was just trying to think if there was anything online that I could um, uh, send to you, but I'm not. I have to look it up. But basically, um, yeah, like voice, a lot of voiceover stuff. So that's that's the main sort of script writing that I've done for, um, like I like for a lawn maintenance company, just explaining sort of what they do because they they do new. Uh, Sort of technique for hydro seeding. I don't know if you've heard of that, but instead of you know the, the traditional sod placement, um, they do hydro seeding. So it's it's explaining that in in video form and then doing the voiceover narration. And um, yeah, and then and then just being involved with a lot of uh, a lot of other just sort of fun projects as far as script writing, but I definitely have the skills as far as um, what's needed, and I can uh, provide an example, even just using OSE as an example to show you sort of what, what I could do. Have you ever uh, worked with your hands? Uh, yeah, I've worked in construction before. And, and uh, stone, I've done some stone masonry as well. Um, you know, a big part of what we we do is, and what we look for in a video documenter is somebody who can understand the technical aspects because that makes them, that puts them in a better position to tell the story technically too, you know, because we do a lot of stuff like uh, video documentation that covers how to build the machines and how they work so that people everywhere can understand what they're doing. So. Um, what can you kind of help us gauge your ability to understand the equipment and explain it? Um, sure. As far as what, what kind of equipment? The Global Village construction set. Um, yeah, I mean, it seems. I mean, hydraulics. I get the the big the big sort of key component that that allows allow the strength, so to speak, to come out, um, and yeah, it's just, it's all just uh, getting all the parts to work together, um, I mean, as far as, um, I'm not sure exactly what, what you're wondering, but like, uh, yeah, you know, I, I've, I've worked with a loader and an excavator before, um, compactor, I've done uh, road construction as well as residential. Um, so I, yeah, I mean, I've, I've got a firm understanding of how, you know, how the, the simple, you know, the, the individual simple parts all work together to, to form a more complex part. Um, and, yeah, I don't know, I'd say, yeah, just, just like I said before with hydraulics, like that's sort of the sort of key ingredient to, to give things there their girth and their strength, um, and just, yeah, the, the angle of how they're built, um, yeah, makes a big difference. I'm not, not exactly sure what, what, what you're asking for, but I hope, that's right. <laughs> I hope that makes sense. Sure. Um, okay, let's talk about your web design experience. Um, yeah, not so much web design, but more the content. Okay. So I, I do, uh, yeah, just, just the writing and explaining and, and um, also provide photos and, and the layout, but the, the actual uh, programming and coding of, of websites, uh, that, that's not where my skill set is. 
Okay, cool, man. So I think that pretty much covers what I want to ask you at this point. Um, can you submit a like a one minute video of yourself and put it on the wiki? Yeah, because you I mean you're you're applying for a job so it we need to see your face and kind of get a feel for your personality and stuff like that through a video. It's got to be done remotely. Oh, yeah, totally. Um yeah, totally. I'll, uh, do, do you have a wiki account? A wiki account? Yeah. No, sorry, I didn't hear what you said. Uh, do you have a wiki, wiki account? account? Um, okay, sign up for the wiki. Um, if you go to the front page, there's a part that says "Get Getting Involved." Okay. So go in there, get a wiki account. Um, we have this thing called the Team Culturing Survey. That'd be good for you to fill out. Um, okay. It tells us about yourself, and then post a video from YouTube in there, and embed that. Um, and there's there's okay. instructions on how to do that or whatever. Will you? And when you do that, when you get that video on YouTube, we use. Uh, send it to me. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Do you have any other questions or? Um, I don't think so. Um, as far as yeah, I, I think uh, yeah, Marcel in the email just uh, outlined a lot of the sort of parameters of what, what you guys were looking for. So I think I've got a pretty good idea of that. Um, but yeah, when when were you guys looking to get this? Time. Will, that, will that time frame be good, like middle of June? Uh, the next step is after you submit that video, we'll have another meeting with March. And, I mean, we need a video documenter now. Um, so, I don't know. We'll have to just see how it plays out. But. Okay. Uh, well, yeah, I'll, I'll get you the video. I'll try and, um, try and do that in the next day or two. 